The world's most important race isn't happening on a track or in space, it's happening inside silicon. At the center stands NVIDIA, the king of AI chips, whose GPs power ChatGPT, Google, and nearly every major breakthrough in artificial intelligence. But across the Pacific, China is rising fast. With Huawei, SMIC, and billions in government support, Beijing is determined to break free from Western tech and build its own AI chip empire. Sanctions were meant to slow China down instead. They may have ignited a new technological cold war. The question is, who wins? When it comes to artificial intelligence, NVIDIA is more than just a company. It's the beating heart of the entire industry. Founded in 1993, NVIDIA was originally known for making graphics cards that powered video games. But over the last decade, it has transformed itself into the undisputed king of AI computing. Today, if you peel back the layers of almost any AI system, whether it's OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's DeepMind, or Tesla's autonomous driving software, you'll find NVIDIA's hardware at the core. The company's dominance stems from its GPUs, or graphics processing units, which turned out to be perfectly suited for the intense math required to train neural networks. CPUs, the brains of your everyday laptop, can only handle tasks sequentially. GPUs, on the other hand, can perform thousands of calculations in parallel. This ability made them indispensable for AI training, where models consume terabytes of data and require mind-bending computational power. Take NVIDIA's H100 chip, for example. It's been described as the crown jewel of AI computing, capable of powering the largest models in existence. And now, NVIDIA has gone even further with its Blackwell architecture, promising double the performance and efficiency. For tech giants, research labs, and governments, access to these chips isn't optional, it's survival. That's why the waiting list for NVIDIA's hardware stretches months, sometimes even years, with customers willing to pay premium prices just to secure supply. But NVIDIA's power doesn't come from hardware alone. The company has also built an ecosystem around its chips. Its CUDA software platform allows developers to design and optimize AI applications directly for NVIDIA GPUs. This creates a kind of lock-in, once you've built your AI project on NVIDIA, switching to another provider becomes extremely difficult. It's not just about the chip, it's about the tools, libraries, and community that NVIDIA controls. This combination of hardware and software has made NVIDIA the default choice for AI innovation. And the numbers prove it. NVIDIA's market capitalization has exploded, surpassing the trillion dollar mark and briefly making it the most valuable semiconductor company in the world. Revenue from its data center division, where AI chips are sold, has skyrocketed by hundreds of percent in just a few years. Analysts say NVIDIA now has something close to a monopoly on the AI chip market, with a market share that dwarfs competitors like AMD and Intel. Yet, NVIDIA's dominance is also its vulnerability. The world has taken notice, especially governments. The United States relies heavily on NVIDIA to maintain its lead in AI, research and defense technology. But at the same time, Washington fears NVIDIA's chips could accelerate China's AI ambitions if they slip through export controls. That's why the US has introduced strict restrictions on what chips NVIDIA can sell to China, forcing the company to design special downgraded versions just for the Chinese market. Still, despite these challenges, NVIDIA remains the standard bearer of AI progress. Its chips are the gold standard, its software is the industry's backbone, and its influence stretches across every sector touched by artificial intelligence. For now, the crown is firmly in NVIDIA's hands. But history has shown that no empire goes unchallenged forever. While NVIDIA reigns supreme in the world of AI chips, China is not quietly watching from the sidelines. Instead, Beijing has declared artificial intelligence a national priority, pouring billions into research, development, and domestic production. At the forefront of this push stand two key players, Huawei and SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. Huawei, once known globally for its smartphones and 5G technology, 
has reinvented itself after facing U.S. sanctions that cut off access to American chips and software. Rather than collapse, the company pivoted aggressively into semiconductors and AI infrastructure. In 2019, Huawei introduced the Ascend 910, an AI chip designed to compete with NVIDIA's GPUs. Its successor, the Ascend 910B, is now being hailed in Chinese media as a direct rival to NVIDIA's H100. While experts argue that Huawei still lags in raw performance, the very fact that it has developed such advanced chips under heavy sanctions shows the determination of China's engineers. SMIC, on the other hand, is China's largest contract chip manufacturer, its version of Taiwan's TSMC. Despite facing restrictions on access to cutting-edge manufacturing equipment, SMIC has made surprising progress. Reports suggest the company has already achieved 7 nanometer chip production, a feat many thought impossible without advanced Western lithography tools. These breakthroughs are helping Huawei and other Chinese firms to produce chips domestically, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. The Chinese government is fully backing this movement. Under initiatives like Made in China 2025 and the Newer China Standards 2035, Beijing has earmarked tens of billions of dollars to fund semiconductor startups, subsidize research labs, and expand AI training infrastructure. Entire AI factories are being built across the country. Massive data centers designed to process and train large language models, computer vision systems, and autonomous driving algorithms. These facilities don't just use Huawei's chips. They also create demand that ensures continuous improvement and scaling. For China, this is more than just a business opportunity. It's about technological sovereignty. In Beijing's view, dependence on NVIDIA and U.S. suppliers is a national security risk. Every sanction, every export restriction is seen as a reminder that China's future cannot rest in foreign hands. That's why the government treats semiconductor independence as a matter of survival. And there's another layer to this story, the Chinese market itself. Even though NVIDIA dominates globally, China is the world's largest consumer of AI chips, accounting for nearly one-third of global demand. By nurturing domestic champions like Huawei and SMIC, Beijing ensures that this massive demand can be redirected toward homegrown solutions. Over time, this could create a parallel AI ecosystem. NVIDIA and US chips dominating the West, while Huawei and SMIC control the East. Of course, challenges remain. Huawei and SMIC still trail NVIDIA in performance, software ecosystem, and developer adoption. NVIDIA's CUDA platform has a decades-long head start that can't be easily replicated. But progress is undeniable. Each new Huawei chip release narrows the gap. Each SMIC manufacturing breakthrough reduces dependency and each government subsidy accelerates the momentum. China may not yet have dethroned NVIDIA, but the writing is on the wall. This is no longer a one-horse race. The future of AI chips is being shaped not just in Silicon Valley, but in Shenzhen and Shanghai. If you're watching this video, your data, your investments, and your privacy could be at risk, especially in today's volatile digital landscape. That's why there's never been a better time to take one smart step to protect yourself online, NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the most trusted virtual private networks in the world, and for good reason. Whether you're tracking stock movements, managing your crypto wallet, or simply reading global financial headlines, NordVPN encrypts your connection and keeps your personal data safe from prying eyes. And here's the best part right now. NordVPN is offering an exclusive deal of up to 73% off for our viewers. Just click the link in the description and lock in your online security today. Stay smart. The race between NVIDIA and China's chip makers isn't just a business competition. It's a battlefield shaped by geopolitics. Artificial intelligence has become a cornerstone of global power, and the United States views control over advanced chips as a matter of national security. That's why Washington has moved aggressively to restrict China's access to NVIDIA's most advanced products. In 2022, the U.S. government imposed the first wave of export controls, banning the sale of NVIDIA's A100 and H100 chips to Chinese firms. The idea was simple. 
If China couldn't access the hardware needed to train massive AI models, its progress in artificial intelligence would slow dramatically. NVIDIA responded by designing downgraded versions of its chips, like the A800 and H800, specifically for the Chinese market. These chips were less powerful, meeting US regulatory requirements, but still valuable enough to sell in huge volumes. However, Washington soon realized that even these watered-down versions were giving China too much capability. In 2023 and 2024, restrictions tightened further, leaving NVIDIA with fewer options. The company, once generating billions from China, its second-largest market, suddenly faced a wall. Its revenue streams were disrupted, and Chinese firms like Huawei had no choice but to double down on domestic alternatives. The irony is that sanctions, while intended to cripple China's AI ambitions, may have had the opposite effect. By cutting off access, the US forced Chinese companies to innovate faster. Huawei's rapid development of the Ascend 9110B and SMIC's breakthroughs in advanced chip manufacturing were direct responses to these restrictions. Instead of slowing Beijing down, the export controls lit a fire under its tech sector. At the same time, the sanctions placed NVIDIA in a difficult position. On one hand, it must comply with US law. The company cannot risk violating export rules. On the other hand, losing access to such a massive market creates long-term business risks. China represents not just sales, but also influence. If NVIDIA is absent, Huawei and SMIC will fill the void. And once Chinese companies become self-sufficient, NVIDIA may never regain that market. There's also the question of global alliances. The United States has pressured its allies, Japan, the Netherlands, South Korea, and Taiwan, to restrict exports of chip-making equipment to China. This is why companies like ASML in the Netherlands cannot sell their most advanced lithography machines to SMIC. Yet China has proven resourceful, finding ways to repurpose older equipment and still achieve breakthroughs. In this chess game, every move by Washington is met with a counter-move from Beijing. For investors, this creates a paradox. NVIDIA remains the global leader in AI chips with unmatched technology and software dominance. But geopolitical risks hover over the company like storm clouds. If the US-China rivalry escalates, NVIDIA could find itself locked out of the world's largest AI market entirely. And while sanctions may slow China in the short term, they also guarantee that China will build its own path forward in the long run. In short, the sanctions war has turned the AI chip race into a technological cold war. It's no longer just about who builds the fastest GPU, it's about who controls the future of artificial intelligence, and by extension, the future of global power. As the dust settles on the current battle between NVIDIA and China's chip makers, one question looms large. What does the future of the AI race look like? The answer may not be as straightforward as predicting a single winner. Instead, we may be entering an era where two parallel ecosystems emerge, one led by NVIDIA and the United States, and the other driven by China. On the Western side, NVIDIA shows no signs of slowing down. Its Blackwell architecture, unveiled in 2025, promises groundbreaking improvements in both efficiency and raw computing power. With features like faster memory bandwidth, improved AI-specific cores, and reduced energy consumption, NVIDIA is effectively future-proofing its chips for the next wave of artificial intelligence. Tech giants like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon are lining up to purchase tens of thousands of these chips for their AI data centers. NVIDIA isn't just a chip supplier anymore. It's the backbone of the world's AI infrastructure. Beyond hardware, NVIDIA is also expanding into AI services. Its AI Factories concept, where companies can rent access to massive GPU clusters for training models, is already reshaping the market. This model creates recurring revenue streams, making NVIDIA less dependent on hardware sales alone. In the next five years, NVIDIA could evolve into something more than a chip company, a full-scale AI platform provider. Meanwhile, in China, the momentum is building rapidly. Huawei's Ascend chips and SMIC's manufacturing breakthroughs are only the beginning. Beijing is committed to building a self-sufficient AI ecosystem, from chip design to cloud services. Already, major Chinese tech firms like Baidu, Tencent, and Alibaba are adopting homegrown chips for their AI projects. With government subsidies, these companies don't have to worry about short-term losses. Their mission is clear. Close the technology gap with NVIDIA, no matter the cost. 
Some analysts believe that within five to seven years, Chinese chips could rival NVIDIA in performance. The difference may not be in absolute speed, but in accessibility. While NVIDIA's chips are expensive and often in short supply, China's domestic products could become widely available across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, regions where U.S. export controls are less effective. This could give China a strategic advantage in shaping the global AI landscape outside the West. The real question is whether the world will converge or fragment. In one scenario, NVIDIA maintains its global dominance, and Chinese companies continue to lag behind. In another, the race produces two separate standards, Western firms relying on NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem, while Chinese firms build their own software platforms optimized for Huawei and SMIC. This AI bifurcation would mirror what we've already seen in 5G, where Huawei dominates much of the developing world while Western firms lead in advanced economies. For investors and policymakers alike, the stakes couldn't be higher. If NVIDIA retains control, it cements the U.S. as the global leader in artificial intelligence. But if China succeeds, it could redraw the map of technological power, shifting influence toward Beijing. And given the speed at which AI is advancing, this race may be decided much sooner than anyone expects. The future of AI chips isn't just about who builds the fastest processors. It's about who defines the rules of the digital world. The battle between NVIDIA and China is far more than a competition between two chip makers. It's the story of how nations, companies, and entire economies are fighting for control over the future of artificial intelligence. For now, NVIDIA remains the undisputed leader. Its GPUs power the most advanced models, its CUDA ecosystem dominates the developer world, and its innovations set the pace for the industry. But China's determination cannot be underestimated. With Huawei designing powerful Ascend chips, SMIC pushing manufacturing boundaries, and the Chinese government pouring billions into AI, the gap is closing faster than many expected. We may be witnessing the rise of two AI worlds, one led by NVIDIA and the West, the other built by China for its own markets and allies. Which side will ultimately prevail, or will both carve out parallel empires in the digital age? One thing is certain, this race will define not just technology, but also geopolitics, economics, and the balance of global power. If you found this analysis valuable, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts in the comments. Who do you think will win, NVIDIA or China? And check out our next video, where we dive deeper into the future of AI and investing.